Okay, I just wanted to start this video series here about some of the drum sounds I use to make synthwave music that I recently got into. Uh, first, let's get rid of this piano. We don't need it. Uh, actually, go up here and you go to, let's see here, reset channel strip. So that sets it all back because I was just testing some sounds. And we go to instrument and we go down here to native instruments, contact five. And I think we always want to have it stereo for sure. Okay, it's loading now. You can see the little circle should be coming up soon. Okay, here we go. Uh, you go to contact factory library. And oh, it's already in drum machines because I used it before. But if you don't see it, here's the default setting. There's all these different categories. You basically go to vintage. And then after vintage, you go to drum machines. And then the drum machines that I did like to use in a couple tracks were the DMX kit, which is a vintage drum machine, and the Lin drum kit. Both are good in different areas, and I'll describe their strengths and weaknesses from my point of view. Uh, here's the DMX kit. Okay. Okay, so we got some sounds going there. You can see the blue um, keys are where you can play them through MIDI. And that's it. You can, you can uh, what do you call it, pan each one. Uh, customize it here. You have to select. Oh, this is very important too. You have to either select by MIDI, set by MIDI, turn it off or on. So that's useful when you're trying to set up a sound. See when you hit off, it won't change this. But if you hit it on, it will change as you hit new keys. See that? So depending on what you want to do. So let's go back here. So if I want to customize the kick, you pick from here. Where are the kicks? Bass drum. Well, that's the kick bass drum right there. Then you can play around with the sound. Here, let's just do this in real time. You can. So this will be for any any drum basically. You can pan it left right which you would never do with a kick but you know just for example oh yeah very important here are the toms so they're from these keys again maybe you want to pan those ones individually so let's turn this on set by MIDI so when I play this yeah it changes so maybe I want to pan from left to right like that. See how I'm changing that? So when you have a drum fill, it's like, etc., etc. Cool. And if you want to switch to the, what is it, Lin Drums, which is another famous vintage kit, um, don't create another one of these. I learned from experience. Either erase this or select with these arrow keys. So I'll just do it this way. Ah, uh, no, let's not do it that way. Let's just, oh, I erased it anyway. doesn't matter. So you go down here to Lindrums, and there we go. And we can play the Lindrums the same way. Yeah, very similar. Both are pretty good for different applications. Okay, and that's my first video in this tiny little series. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.